Good morning, and thank you to the moderators, and thank you to Sages for the opportunity to present our work. Um, we have nothing to disclose. Um, laparoscopic cholecystectomy is one of the most commonly performed operations in the United States with an estimated 750,000 operations performed annually. Uh, bowel duct injury remains one of the most feared complications of uh, laparoscopic cholecystectomy. Um, and rates of bowel duct injury have not changed uh, significantly over the past 20 years despite uh, technical refinements, improvement in the technology, and increased awareness of the problem. Um, guidelines exist for the optimal methods to avoid bowel duct injury. However, the few guidelines exist on the management of bowel duct injuries once they occur. Uh, to that end, the aim of our study was to evaluate risk factors for bowel duct injury and to assess surgeons' attitudes towards the management of injuries once they occur with a particular focus on a uh, role for minimally invasive repair. Uh, we created an online survey which was sent out to SAGE's members. Uh, 3,411 surgeons received the survey and we received 559 complete responses. Survey items included demographic data and practice patterns, uh, questions regarding personal experience with bile duct injury and how those injuries were managed, as well as surgeons' attitudes towards minimally invasive bile duct injury repair. Uh, on the left side of the screen, you see uh, the age and pr years in practice. There was a fairly even split amongst the group um, in terms of their age and years in practice. On the right side, um, unsurprisingly, the major a uh, large percentage of our respondents had MIS or bariatric fellowship training. However, there was also a large percentage that had no fellowship training. Um, and then on the bottom right, uh, practice setting, about a third of surgeons reported an academic practice, whereas the remaining two-thirds uh, were in a non-academic, either community private practice. In order to assess our respondents' uh, experience with laparoscopic operations, we asked about their yearly case logs. On the left is the percentage of operations performed laparoscopically each year. And you can see that the majority performed over 50% of their operations in a minimally invasive fashion. On the right uh, is the number of laparoscopic cholecystectomies performed per year. And again, the majority performed 50 to 100 or more cholecystectomies. Uh, the, our respondents reported a 47% of our respondents uh, reported experiencing at least one bowel duct injury in their career, and 16% reported experiencing more than one. Um, so using that data, we created a multivariate logistic regression to predict um, the risk of experience of bowel duct injury in one's career. Uh, years in practice was significantly associated with an increased risk, however, that with a relatively modest effect with an odds ratio of 1.03. Uh, whereas fellowship training and academic practice setting when compared to non-academic settings were both associated with a decreased risk of experience of bile duct injury with a 50 and 40 percent reduction in risk, uh, respectively. Looking a little further at years in practice as a uh, risk factor for bowel duct injury, uh, this graph shows that as years in practice increases, the proportion of surgeons who have experienced an injury will increase. I think this is probably a um, effect of just a volume of cholecystectomies over the course of one's career. So then looking at the management of bile duct injuries, 73% uh, of surgeons reported that their bile duct injury was identified in the operating room. On the top right, uh, when looking at those that were identified in the operating room, 75% um, uh, were uh, repaired immediately, either alone or in consultation with a senior partner, whereas 25% were managed with a temporizing measure. Of those 75% that were repaired immediately, um, the majority were repaired with an open technique, either a primary repair or hepaticojejunostomy. However, 22% of bowel duct injuries were reported as being repaired with a minimally invasive approach. Uh, this was described, the most commonly described was a um, laparoscopic or robotic primary repair, and 1% uh, described a 
laparoscopic hepatic, hepatic OJ genostomy. Uh, so in conclusion, uh, bile duct injury remains a common occurrence when viewed over the course of a surgeon's career. Nearly 50% of surgeons had experienced a bile duct injury um, and 16% had experienced more than one injury in their career. Fellowship training and academic practice conferred a protective effect in our study, which is consistent with previous uh, survey-based studies looking at this issue. Uh, laparoscopic bile duct injury seems to be performed more commonly Repair seems to be performed more commonly than the literature would suggest with over 20% of our respondents reporting that they had performed a laparoscopic bile duct injury repair in their career. And we asked, in theory, if you had a bile duct injury, do you think it could be repaired laparoscopically? And 60% reported that they do think that that is possible. Um, most of these minimally invasive repairs were described as um, primary repairs, which suggests that they were relatively minor injuries. Uh, we asked respondents what their, what classification their bowel duct injury was, and most reported a Strasburg type A or D classification, which are relatively minor injuries um, compared to a type E injury. Uh, however, more data is needed to evaluate when a laparoscopic approach is appropriate and when that can be employed. I'd just like to say thank you to my collaborators as well as to all of you who filled out the survey. I'll take any questions.